can thank President Abraham Lincoln for making the United States the agricultural powerhouse that it is today. On July 2, 1862, President Lincoln signed the Morrill Land Grant Colleges Act into law, offering higher education, once available only to the wealthy and elite, to everyday people. Under the act, states were given land that they sold to fund the establishment of a college that would focus on agriculture and mechanical engineering. In fact, before being known as The Ohio State University, it was called Ohio Agricultural and Mechanical College. The Morrill Act opened the door of higher education to millions of people. Ohio State University, as a land-grant university, graduates about 15,000 students every year. Our college, the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences, will graduate around 900 students every year. And as these students go out into their careers, they, they will be a part of helping this country and this world establish an abundant supply of safe, wholesome, high-quality food at a reasonable cost, while at the same time protecting the quality of our environment and maintaining our natural resource base. The Morrill Act also led the way for the establishment of the Hatch Act and the Smith-Lever Act. The Hatch Act established the Agricultural Experiment Station and the Smith-Lever Act established the Extension Service which gets this information out into the hands of the people to enhance the quality of life of the folks of this country. research we do at the Ohio Agricultural Research and Development Center benefits all Ohioans as well as people from around the globe. Currently our researchers are testing the use of compressed natural gas in a fleet of cars. It costs 25 percent less than regular gas and reduces greenhouse emissions by 30 to 40 percent. We are also looking at how to improve the effectiveness of vaccines against rotavirus, the cause of millions of childhood deaths worldwide. OERDC researchers have developed a way to treat the lead in urban soils that costs 75 percent less than the next most affordable remedy helping to keep our children safe from lead poisoning. These are just a few examples of our current research initiatives at OERDC. Historically, Extension shared information via trains in Ohio and across the country. Today it's a little bit different, but we're just as vital as we were back then. We only share it a little bit different. We share it through fact sheets and websites and workshops. We did, we did that this year with the drought. We did the same last year with algal blooms. We had a problem with rain and to help the algal blooms disappear on Lake Erie and Grand Lake St. Mary. We also help in the areas of dining with diabetes. This is a problem across the United States involving 900,000 people. In Ohio, we help 2,000 people a year. Shale Energy on the eastern side of the state. We're very active and involved with helping people with this uh, concern as it affects their farm and it, can, it affects their livelihood. Over 100 meetings and affecting 15,000 people. And I need to mention 4-H. 4-H since 1903 involves 300,000 kids a year and we help them understand life skills, citizenship, and leadership development. This is what Extension is all about. What President Lincoln started in 1862 with the Morrill Act resulted in a nationwide network of research, teaching, and learning in and out of the classroom, making lives, communities, and businesses strong and healthy. <laughs>